Hi friends, it's me, Gigi. Today, we're going to be doing a super fun experiment together. It's called Sink or Float. First item is this really cool elephant figurine. I wonder if this one will sink or float. Let's give it a try. I'm going to dunk it in this water bath on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Did you guys see that? The elephant figurine went all the way on the bottom of the tank. And if it goes all the way down, that means it sinks. Here we have a yellow Play-Doh. I love Play-Doh. It's so much fun, and there's so many creative things you can make out of it. Are you ready? One, two, three. Whoa, did you guys see what happened? The Play-Doh container did not float up top like the broccoli did. It went all the way down. That means that our yellow Play-Doh container sinks. Next, we have a metal whisker. You might see this in your kitchen. It's used when baking or when mixing things together. Let's see if this one will sink or float. Ready? One, two, three. Big splash. This one went all the way down to the bottom of the box. This whisker sinks. Next, we have a set of Legos that are blue and they have a zebra on it. There are different parts to it. Let's see how many Legos there are. One, two, three. There are three pieces in this blue zebra Lego. Ready? One, two, three. Boom! As you can see, all three of our Lego pieces stay on top, which means that Legos float. I have this super fun, colorful toy car. It's white with pink wheels, and it even has a little rainbow tassel in the back. Let's see if this toy car sinks or floats. Ready? One, two, three. Boom! The toy car stayed all the way up top, which means that it floats. Do you guys hear that? This is a little Ziploc bag with different coins in it. I love the sound it makes. It sounds like a little rattle instrument. Let's see if this one will sink or float. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa, it went straight to the bottom of the box, which can only mean one thing. This bag of coins definitely sinks. This is one of my favorite pretend ice creams. So yummy. Should we see if it sinks or floats? Ready? One, two, three. Whoa, it stayed all the way on top, which means that our pretend ice cream sandwich surely floats. Here I have a snow globe. And if you shake it carefully, you'll see that it has little snow in it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, do you guys hear that bump? That was really, really loud and really fast. That means that our snow globe sinks. It went straight down our box and hit the bottom. Next, we have this toy. It's in the shape of a cube. It has a lot of different colors, and it can move a lot. Do you guys know what it's called? Right, it's called a Rubik's Cube. The point of this cube is to try to get each side to match one color. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of concentration. Let's see if this one will sink or float. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Our Rubik's Cube floats! That's so cool! It looks like it's swimming around! The next item I have are these cute tongs 
with little green hands. And we can use it to pick things up. Let's see if this utensil will sink or float. Ready? One, two, three. Wow! It sinks! It went all the way down to the bottom of our water box. Our last item in our experiment today is this little orange shovel. Let's throw it in in the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa, it went straight up top. That means it floats. Here are all our items that we tested to see in whether they would sink or float. Thank you so much for playing sink and float with me today. I had such a great time learning about all these different items. I really hope to see you back soon. Bye, have a great day, till next time.